I'm gonna say, this side over here, this is Team JD. If y'all with me, put your hands up over there on the side. All the way on the top, too. All right, look, on my side, I got Miss Mulatto with me. On my side, I got Money with me. And on my side, I got Nova with me. Akeisha Lockhart here for All I Need Is One Mic.com. And the, the man sitting next to me. Shout out. The, the 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 artist sitting next to me good. is so so deaf. Nova. Please explain why. Um, I'm so so deaf because you know I'm I come from a come from a pretty you know pretty multi talented family you know and uh, I feel like I got a I got a talent not too many people can uh, say they you know can you know achieve surpass maybe you know i feel like i'm i'm definitely so so deaf you know okay well how about we put how about you put your money where your mouth is right yeah what's up let's hear you spit something spit something yeah spit something the same dream a day got me so awake i can't sleep at night and the things i seen got me thinking twice about how to reach a new peak in life ain't hit me yet i was unsure about what that meant started taking notes so i logged on to the internet and i scrolled down and saw jd's post oh the rap king what's this about it's kind of making sense with my vision now i've been writing down what my life's about i think the mic is how i'm supposed to get it out i'm the hope for the next generation to come how can i help every race become one maybe through music but if i'm approve it i gotta start motivating them young this is the life that i wanted forever i can inspire the young to be clever Use what I've been through to make an example of what path to follow so they can do better. Cause my dreams to help y'all dream. When I die, please save a place in my grave for what I rep, and that's so so deaf. But this chain on my neck doesn't make me a slave. Woo! Okay, okay, you put the money where the mouth is. I did. So for everyone out there that is just now, which y'all need to get in tune and, and, and keep up, but explain what the rap game is and where they can watch it. Uh, you can watch the rap game on Lifetime Television. Uh, it's it's actually done airing now. Next season will be aired in July. But uh, the rap game is basically, you know, our artist boot camp Jermaine Dupri puts us to puts us through. Um, yeah, he puts us through a lot of challenges. You know, some things can be through press. You know, especially rapping. You know, image finding, all that. You know, and it's really just you know everybody fights. Five kids fight for this chain right here that's around my neck. You know, season three winner. Uh, yeah. And what do you get in addition to the chain? What else do you get? You get a, a recording contract with So So Deaf. Wow. And so you are winner of what season? Season three. Season three. Three is my favorite number. You know, I had a chance. Three times to three, a charm. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And he's a Gemini, too. Yes. So that's a whole nother. Birthday we, we today. May 28th, baby. Okay. Birthday today. Okay, here we go. God is good. <laughs> so what was one of the most challenging things that you experienced on the show or you learned about this industry? Um, I feel like the most challenging thing that I, I had to face on the show is really re remembering lyrics in about two days. You know, it's, it's it, usually when I'm home, you know, I'll write, a, I'll write a verse and I won't think about remembering it. So I'll eventually remember it later on, okay. you know, but during during challenges you you had to write and then remember it the next day and wow. then spit it in front of like thousands of people and, and expect not to mess up you know okay. uh, granted you know I, I didn't mess up the whole entire season and, and didn't stumble you know but you know that was probably the hardest part so what is it like now what is social media now that you've been on the show how has your life changed oh and how old God. are you I'm well I'm 17 today you okay know, you just turned 17 turned 17 but ever since the show like I accumulated like so much so much fans you know so, like a lot of people you know Nova Nation that's what I call my, my fans Okay. You know, there's a there's a lot. You know, I, I really can't even go to the gas station no more without being stopped. Do you have a car? No, I do not have a car. <laughs> I can't. But I'm saying, like, okay. unless I want to get airhead bites in a sprite, you know what okay. I'm saying? I can't walk in there. Okay. Like, oh my god, let's What's go. What's the craziest thing a fan has done when they've seen you out? Um, cried. Yeah, I feel like um, crying is like a crazy thing to do. Okay. You know, because if I, I guess if I saw Jay Z, I, I, I think I'll cry. Right. You know what me I'm saying? too. I would too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I feel like. Like, oh well, a lot of fans like they ran up, run up to the windows when I'm sitting in the back seat okay. in the car. Okay. You know, hit hit the glass like, yeah. yo, no, we gotta take a picture with you. Like, nah, nah, I gotta go, I gotta go. But you uh -huh. know, it's How you know, it's all you love. Feel? It's all love. I love it. Like, I love being in my city. Okay. You know, my job. Granted, I've been out. Let them know what city you're from. I'm from Redding, PA, all the way from Redding, PA, near Philly. You okay. know, what I'm saying, holding it down. Okay, very nice. So you, this is is this your first time in Chicago? This is this is my second time. At, well, second time in Chicago. I actually came out here for a near. K's birthday bash. She brought me out here and she Aww. let me let me perform. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to know though, because I gave you some recommendations yesterday on some things you should eat, and I want to know, did you actually follow up and did you eat any of the things or try any of the things that I recommended? The food. The like, food. Like yes. Harold's chicken. The Harold. Yes. And the pizza we uh, talked the, about. Yeah. What, have, what have you been eat? What have you eaten while you've been here? Um, I've been eating uh snacks, snacks. chips. 
Are Kit you Kats. Yeah, man, it's We're hard. Having- it's hard. It's hard. It's hard eating when you're on the road and, and you got to, like, be but everywhere in the energy. morning. I feel that. I feel that, you know, but it's hard. It's hard to, it's hard to sometimes just take take time and just eat peacefully. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. But once I get a chance, so I'm definitely going to hit Harris Chicken up. Okay. You know, 87th going, location. Yeah, okay. The 87th one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell Nia, you know, <laughs> take me there since it's her city. <laughs> Nia definitely going to show me the way. You okay. Know what I'm All right. The very, the last thing I want to ask you before we wrap up. There's a lot of young people that are looking up to you now. You are probably perceived to be a role model. I was out in the crowd while you were performing and all of you guys. And it's just like you have these little babies, these little kids out there. They know all your words. And you can just tell that you guys are like they're Chris Brown, they're Michael Jackson, they're Rihanna. Like that's what it is. So what piece of advice can you give to all those young people out there that see you and want to be you? Well, I'll tell them, you know, you can you can you can be me but like be you at the same time, you know. If you want to be a rapper, you know, you could be a rapper, you know, and and make sure you find your own lane and and you stay original because nobody could be who you are. You understand? So I feel I feel like piece of advice is, you know, be consistent. You know, if you if you want to do something, tell yourself that you can do it and make sure you always always stay at that. You know, you can't you can't try something, you know. I mean, you always could try something, but just don't give up. You know that's that's really really the biggest advice you can say, even though it sounds cliche, but it's really the truth. Like I'm I'm only 17 years old. And I just turned 17. I feel like you know when when the older people used to tell me, oh chase your dreams, you know the you know and 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 I always thought like okay like you just telling me you just telling me that no it's true like if you really tell yourself I can do something you really can because a couple years back I wasn't here you know I was I was sitting back at home watching TV eating a big bag of Doritos cooling on my couch and then I said look I really wanna I wanna I wanna be on a rap game you know I went on Instagram started posting crazy you know get, got JD to notice me got on the rap game I told myself I wanna win a rap game I won the rap game. I was like, oh, now I'm going to go on tour. Now I'm hitting every city. And look where I'm at now, in Chicago, in the interview so- with Mrs. Lockhart, the beautiful Miss Lockhart. Aww. And we cool. We cooling out here in Chicago. Y'all know. This guy right here. Okay, wait. I'm so sorry. Like, you just, we just had a moment. But wait, <laughs> I had, now, now, you, now you made me have a follow-up question. And then we're really going to stop talking to him, even though I'm a fan. But what was it about you that you think what how did jd like what was it that about your posting because there's so many people on social media that post so what how did he connect with you on social media i feel like i feel like jd he he watches everybody you know he so what what hashtag were you using because i want to start using people want to start using, using the hashtag, hashtag. I mean, like what was it that you posted that got his attention it, it, it really wasn't what i posted it's just how much i posted you know the activity i had so consistency yeah that's what i'm saying be consistent mm. it goes back to that I like that. Yeah. All right. Well, you all know me. I'm Akeisha Lockhart for allineedswomite.com. Who are you? I'm the young guy, Nova, holding it down all the way from Reading, PA. Thank you. Can you do a snap for me, please? Yes, I can.